The last integration pattern that we will look at is parallel processing. Parallel processing is needed when transaction loads exceed the processing ability of a single threaded Boomi process. There are several levels at which to do parallel processing. You can do multi-threads in a JVM runtime executing a process. You can do multiple JVMs spawned by a process to run segments of a transaction load in parallel. And multiple nodes in a molecule configuration which can draw from a queue of process executions, each one of which is a transaction load. The motivation behind this is because this is a technique to push data across more threads or resources in order to decrease the processing time. The motivation is faster processing time or to handle a large transaction load. So for example, a company exposes a public web portal to supply product information on their extensive product line. The service can receive hundreds of requests a minute with multiple product IDs per request. The transaction lookup enrichment is required for each line item of a product sale. Month end volumes cause the Boomi process to quickly bog down. In this case, the large transaction load can be handled by parallel processing. This illustration is a solution diagram. The request is made to the source system and data is returned into the Boomi process. The process reaches a flow control shape and processes in parallel. The threads or forked JVMs now complete the process and send the data to the destination system in parallel. There are several design and implementation considerations here. First, in process design, flow control processes documents in parallel. However, that assumes that you have multiple documents. If you only have one document, there's no opportunity for it to be processed in parallel. Parallel processing is disabled when you are using test mode. There are some flow control options you should be familiar with. Flow control has the ability to batch documents in addition to processing in parallel. You only need to change the batch setting if you want smaller batch sizes than would be split by parallel processing. In other words, if you have 10,000 documents and are processing across four threads, then the process will send batches of 2,500. If you want batches of 1,000, then set that value in the flow control shape and it will send three batches through each thread of 1,000, 1,000, and then 500. Finally, you want to tune your system. There is no optimal configuration that applies to every situation. Tuning involves experimenting with different configurations to see what works best for your scenario. There are several runtime considerations as well. Your account must be provisioned for parallel processing. If you want to use forked executions, a molecule or private Atom Cloud is required. You must enable forked executions in molecule properties. The maximum number of forked JVMs is equal to 90% of the available machine heap space divided by the forked JVM heap space. So if a machine has 8 gigabytes of RAM, 4 are allocated to the runtime. A forked execution will allocate additional RAM to the new JVM. However, you do not want to exceed 90% of the RAM of the machine in JVMs. You can have threaded executions in any runtime, including the Boomi Atom Cloud. In the Boomi Atom Cloud, the maximum number of threads is 10. In a local runtime, the maximum number of threads is equal to the cores of the machine CPU. Here's a sample Boomi implementation. This database is queried for all accounts records. Those records flow into the map and into the flow control shape. The shape is configured for threaded execution with three, that's the number of units, and no document batching. The number of records returned from the database query are split into three batches and the rest of the process shapes are processed in different threads on the runtime in parallel to completion.